Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. We have learned a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square or the product of the sum and difference of two positive numbers is the difference of the squares. There was a homework. Let us do it now. 26.5 into 23.5. You know how to multiply it. But here we are going to do it with the help of the identity which we have learned. If we can write these numbers as the sum and the difference of two numbers, then we can use the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. For that, we have to find the number which is at the middle of these two numbers. If you don't know what that number is, we can find the difference between these two numbers like this. 26.5 minus 23.5 is 3. And let me half it. We get 1.5. If we add 1.5 to the smaller number, we get the number at the middle. That is 23.5 plus 1.5 is 25. Again, if you subtract 1.5 from 26.5, we get the number at the middle which is 25. That means 26.5 is 1.5 more than 25 and 23.5 is 1.5 less than 25. So we can write this as 25 plus 1.5 into 25 minus 1.5. We know a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. Therefore, 25 plus 1.5 into 25 minus 1.5 is 25 square minus 1.5 square. The square of 25 is 25 into 25 or 625. And square of 1.5 is 2.25. You can simply multiply 15 by 15. You will get 225. Since there is one digit after the decimal point, in the square there should be two digits after the decimal point. Now 625 minus 225 is 622.75. That means 26.5 into 23.5 is 622.75. Now let us do the problems on page 83. First problem, compute the following in head. 68 square minus 32 square. 3 and half square minus 2 and half square, 3.6 square minus 1.4 square, 201 into 199, 21 by 3 into 1, 2 by 3, 10.7 into 9.3. Let us take 1 by 1. 68 square minus 32 square. We know a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Therefore, 68 square minus 32 square can be written as 68 plus 32 into 68 minus 32. 68 plus 32 is 100 and 68 minus 32 is 36. 100 into 36 is 3600. That means 68 square minus 32 square is 3600. Second part. 3 and half square minus 2 and half square. A square minus B square is A plus B into A minus B. Therefore, 3 and half square minus 2 and half square is 3 and half plus 2 and half into 3 and half minus 2 and half. 3 and half plus 2 and half is 6 and 3 and half minus 2 and half is 1. So this can be written as 6 into 1 and that is equal to 6. That means 3 and half square minus 2 and half square is 6. Third part. 3.6 square minus 1.4 square. This can be written as 3.6 plus 1.4 into 3.6 minus 1.4. 3.6 plus 1.4 is 5 and 3.6 minus 1.4 is 2.2. So this can be written as 5 into 2.2 and multiplying we get 11. That means 3.6 square minus 1.4 square is 11. Fourth part 201 into 199. This is 1 more than 200 and this is 1 less than 200. So this can be written as 200 plus 1 into 200 minus 1. A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Therefore, 200 plus 1 into 200 minus 1 is 200 square minus 1 square. Square of 2 is 4. Therefore, square of 200 is 40,000. 
1 square is 1. So this can be written as 40,000 minus 1. And that is equal to 39,999. That means 201 into 199 is 39,999. Next part. 2 1 by 3 into 1 2 by 3. This is 1 by 3 more than 2. And this is 1 by 3 less than 2. So this can be written as 2 plus 1 by 3 into 2 minus 1 by 3. 1 by 3 means 1 out of 3. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. And again adding 1 by 3 we get 1. So if you subtract 1 by 3 from 1 we get 2 by 3. That means if you subtract 1 by 3 from 2 we get 1 2 by 3. A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Therefore, 2 plus 1 by 3 into 2 minus 1 by 3 is 2 square minus 1 by 3 square. Square of 2 is 4 and square of 1 by 3 is 1 by 9. So, this can be written as 4 minus 1 by 9. 4 is 3 plus 1. Let us place 3 there and take 1. From 1, we can subtract 1 by 9. 1 by 9 means 1 out of 9. 1 means 9 out of 9. So from 9 out of 9, if we subtract 1 out of 9, we get 8 out of 9 or 8 by 9. We have already kept 3 there. Now we got 8 by 9. So we get 3 8 by 9. Next part. 10.7 into 9.3. This can be written as 10 plus 0.7 into 10 minus 0.7. And that's equal to 10 square minus 0.7 square. 10 square is 100 and 0.7 square is 0.49. Subtracting we get 99.51. Second problem. Look at this pattern. 1 and half square minus half square is 2. 2 and half square minus 1 and half square is 4. 3 and half square minus 2 and half square is 6. Explain the general principle using algebra. Look at the first line. This is one and half and this is half. This is half more than one and this is half less than one. In the same way in the second line, this is half more than two and this is half less than two. In the third line, this is half more than three and this is half less than three. So generally in the xth line, this part will be half more than x and this will be half less than x. Half more than x is x plus half and half less than x is x minus half. So in the xth line, we have to find x plus half all square minus x minus half all square. We know a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Therefore, x plus half all square minus x minus half all square is equal to x plus half plus x minus half into x plus half minus x minus half. Let us first remove these brackets. When we remove this bracket, we can write this as x plus half plus x minus half. And here x plus half, this becomes minus x minus into minus is plus. So this part is plus half. Now in the first bracket, x plus x is 2x. Half minus half is 0. And in the second bracket, x minus x is 0. Half plus half is 1. So this can be written as 2x into 1. And that is equal to 2x. That means, algebraically we can say, x plus half whole square minus x minus half whole square is equal to 2x. When we put x equal to 1, we get the first line. That is, 1 plus half whole square minus 1 minus half whole square is equal to 2. 1 plus half is 1 and half, 1 minus half is half. Similarly, when we put x equal to 2, we get 2 and half square minus 1 and half square is equal to 2 into 2 or 4. When we put x equal to 3, we get 3 and half square minus 2 and half square is equal to 2 into 3 or 6. Third problem, find out the larger product of each pair below without actual multiplication. First one, 25 into 75, 26 into 74. Second, 76 into 24, 74 into 26. Third, 10.6 into 9.4, 10.4 into 9.6. Let us take one by one. 
25 into 75 is 50 minus 25 into 50 plus 25 and that is equal to 50 square minus 25 square. Now 26 into 74 is 50 minus 24 into 50 plus 24 and that is equal to 50 square minus 24 square. Clearly 24 square is less than 25 square. Here 25 square is subtracted from 50 square. Here only 24 square is subtracted from 50 square. That means less quantity is subtracted here. Therefore this is the larger product or 26 into 74 is the larger product. Second part 76 into 24 can be written as 50 plus 26 into 50 minus 26. That is equal to 50 square minus 26 square. 74 into 26 is 50 plus 24 into 50 minus 24 and that is equal to 50 square minus 24 square. Clearly 24 square is smaller than 26 square. Therefore, in this case a smaller quantity is subtracted from 50 square. So this is the larger product or 74 into 26 is the larger product. Third part, 10.6 into 9.4 can be written as 10 plus 0.6 into 10 minus 0.6. That's equal to 10 square minus 0.6 square. 10.4 into 9.6 can be written as 10 plus 0.4 into 10 minus 0.4. And that's equal to 10 square minus 0.4 square. 0.4 is less than 0.6. Therefore, 0.4 square is less than 0.6 square. That means a smaller quantity is subtracted from 10 square in this case. Therefore, this is the larger product or 10.4 into 9.6 is the larger product. Today, we have done some problems using the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now, there is a homework. Compute the following differences 125 into 75 minus 126 into 74. 124 into 76 minus 126 into 74. 224 into 176 minus 226 into 174. 10.3 into 9.7 minus 10.7 into 9.3. 11.3 into 10.7 minus 11.7 into 10.3. We shall discuss the remaining problems in the next video. Till then, bye.